<clears throat> well, YouTube, True Crime, Tev, Sight, and everything else. I did do another mapping on the uh, disappearance of Brandon Swanson and found something very interesting. Uh, I'm hoping my maps will come up, <clears throat> but I did do a uh, search of the uh, Linden, Lind <clears throat> area and I did not know because I didn't look into it but they did find his car. Now the insane thing on this is yeah they found his car 25 miles away but um <laughs> The insane part of this is that Lind is a very, very, very small town, is right. And it actually did a, uh, on the maps, it did a um, town line of Lind, if I'm saying that right. Uh, <clears throat> and, um,. I think I'm saying I'm hoping my map should come up. I'm gonna get off the freaking roll here. The dog has got me in a stupid place. Every time I walk this dog, he's gotta get somewhere where he don't belong. Mr. Jerk Pug. <clears throat> but anyways. So we're looking at an abandoned car in a ditch off a gravel road along the Lincoln County line a mile north of Highway 68. And um, this is just very weird to me. Because when I looked on the map today, <laughs> you ain't going to believe what I seen. Now I'll just give you a vicinity of it. There's Marshall, there's Lind. Oh, I did get it. There's one thing I did not get, but I think I should be able to, you know, do it while um, drawing on the map here. But Lind. Come on, jerk. No. Lind, I'm just going to do a rough drawing. It's like, you know, an area that consists of this. Very small. You look up on Google Maps and you'll see the town line. It ain't like that, but, you know, you get an idea of it. But it consists of that area. Now, wherever his parents lived, and they spent 47 minutes on the phone, as you would read in the articles that I posted in my description box. You know, and it was about, I wonder why the kid got frustrated, but only coming from Marshall, and that's the roughness of that, and I believe Marshall obviously consists here and maybe up in here. I don't know about that. It could just be that small circle town right there. And it probably don't expand any longer than that because, like I said, Lind is very small. And I didn't do a mapping line out of uh, Marshall, but for whatever reason, <laughs> you tell me why... Um, they spend 47 something minutes on the phone. And this is where it gets good. You know, they've spent 47 minutes on the phone. I hear a friggin' strange noise. I don't know if it's a friggin' dog. But yet, you know, wherever this kid was, <clears throat> where they went in Lind, Obviously, it was not the right description place. 
that's why I gave up the thought theory idea of was he in a place that he thought he was in but it wasn't the place because it was different maybe he had something similar maybe there was maybe there was some similarities to some buildings that that kid maybe got confused or whatever the case may be <clears throat> you know his parents are looking for him He's getting frustrated, can't find me, hang up the phone, call back. He's going to a friend's house. But yet, but yet, it says in this article, 68, County Line, Bravo Road, going north on 68, right? North. A mile north. Read that again. So, here's Lynn. Like I showed you. All right in this area. Marshall. Can someone tell me? And here's 68. Right there. So if he was calling from Lynn down here, parents are coming from here. But yet, yet, we're going north on 68, a mile from where he claims that he was at. So I'm going to just roughly map out a mile. Would he have been... Now, there is one thing I did find that I did not bring up yet. But something I did when I did this with the map, you know, and I scroll, oh, damn it, and I scrolled in. I don't think you can see it here. But no lie, when you do this, when you are on Google Maps, I don't think I'm going to get it up because, uh, you know, I got a friggin' bad service all of a sudden. My phone's been screwing up. I swear to God, I'm getting peed off with this goddamn boost. They're telling me that the uh, new 5G towers are being installed. There are some around here, but go figure. My phones that I have, you know, <laughs> you go all the distance away and it, you know, freezes up. Can't get on this. Can't get on that. <laughs> really annoying. Let me just check to see if I can get on it. I really would like to show this oh 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 great great it's doing it now you jerk but it saved me some time jerk off stupid 5g everybody's gonna convert to 5g because they're getting rid of 4g <laughs> the thing you gotta do to keep yourself updated but without more talk let's get on with this I get this dog somewhere where I can um, do this so he don't be walking and wandering around and pulling the damn leash out of my hand. Like I say, I only can do this now because it's the only time I get to do my videos. Really aggravating it to me. I've been doing them in the morning too, but due to the fact that I've been trying to get this case um, to where I want it, I need to do this video. So, got me a nice spot. Pug is all set. Here we go. There's your Lind. There's your Marshall. Lind. <laughs> that ain't such a big town, now, is it? It makes me wonder. Roughly, roughly doing this. Because there's no way in hell. Lind, Lind, Lind down here. Say so a mile on 68. Okay. Now if he's saying he's in Lind, parents drive from Marshall, wherever they're coming from, in Lind. And right, he's saying he's here, they're driving around in the circle, where are you, we see this, we see that. But yet when the cop says they find the car, it's a mile from where they say... Inland, wherever that is in here, 
and it was on some dirt road up here, a mile away. We just read that. Now get this. Now you scroll on in to Lind. <laughs> you see this? Lots of little roads around here, folks. Not only that, I did see something else. Where the hell did it go? A lot of farmland roads. See that? Look at them roads. And there was another road I had. That one leads to nowhere. Of course, that one leads to this road. Then I found another one today. Say so. Where the hell did it go? Oh, there's the airport. Another road over here. I don't think them are power lines, but... You see all these little hidden roads throughout this farmland. And if there was a remote road coming off of 68, which I don't know where it would be. Dirt road, so we start down here. Say a mile in, let's say that's about a mile in, maybe. I'll find a dirt road. Wish I could see ditches. But if you know where I'm going at, there are little imperiled roads in between farmland. Dirt roads that come off and they lead to nowhere. So wherever his car was found, say so like this road, come in here, dirt road, no ditch though, don't know if there's a ditch in there, but could it be where I'm getting at with this, that if he did crash down here in Lind, could it be that someone that I think killed them get their way through this area through any little nick, nook, and cranny shortcut to end up with the car in a rural place, you know, deserted place on a dirt road. And, you know, the kid goes, oh, shit. I mean, could it be so? And then you, you look around here, there's, there's a lot of houses throughout this whole area, but where is the friend that he would have walked? That's what I'd like to know. <clears throat> um, <laughs> hey, yeah, you, you're going to get the truck, Ted, yeah. You're going to get the truck, Pug, sure. Yeah, you'll get the truck, Ted. Jackass. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he's a big boy, Ted, yeah. You're gonna get him, Ted. Sure, Ted, yeah. I'm gonna crush you like a toothpick, Ted. Oh, man, gotta live with this dog. <laughs> Might as well just start talking to him, you know, I'm losing my mind anyway. There he goes, yeah, yeah, Ted. Yeah, you're gonna get the big truck, Ted, yeah, sure, Ted. Come on, come on, Puck. All right, had enough of that, jackass, pugs, with the balls of steel, but they're small as a goddamn cat. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So, what I would like to know is where this friend's house, where he was going, and that would have been something I would have liked to see in the, um, hell that. I got some vehicles behind me, and it sounded like a door opened up and shut, but guess what? There's nobody there. Nobody sitting in that. Hmm. Okay. Whatever the hell that was. <clears throat> but all in all, I'd like to know where this friend lived. He was on his way to a friend's. And... That's one thing that really bothers me in this case, is the things that they do not put in detail. 
details, people. I want details. And if there was a friend that they defend, the mother and father knew that he would walk to, then they should have known a route for him to take. Or lead him in that direction. You know? That's where a search could have... Because, okay, if he did go through them fields, as you can see, a lot of paths, a lot of roads all connect together. If there's a friend and they know about him, then they should be looking to in that pathway to the friend. But then again, the car was not found where he crashed. Nope, it was not found there. It was found in a different location. Shut up, Ted. Shut up. Hey! It was found in a different location, in whatever location that was. On 68. That leads me to believe that this guy <clears throat> got attacked. Whatever they did with his body. Maybe on the way, maybe maybe it's someone known in the area. Knows the area very well. Maybe they didn't find a well or knew of a well. Or like I said, one of them secret rooms in the ground. Just like the Lovely Bones movie. Ditch him and ditch your car. But, but, <clears throat> what is the motive? Now, if it is a serial killer, then that's exciting to him. If it's someone looking for money, all right, they took the kid's money, dumped him off, killed him, took his car and got away. But no fingerprints, no nothing. Was there a fingerprint search on the car? Probably not. Because, right, the cops are going to sit there and say, Oh, he, he took off. He had a right, just like in the article. He had a right to be missing. He wanted to be missing. When, <laughs> you know, don't think of fingerprinting a car to see if that got there by someone else because here we have a mother and father looking for their son in a place that they, he said he was, but no son. Then the car ends up somewhere else. You know, these are the questions I would have been asking. These are the questions that come out of my head, especially when I do a mapping like this. And I mean, yeah, I did mess up in my other video on a couple of things, but I didn't know everything, but now I do. And now everything's starting to come into play. The puzzles are starting to get the pieces in order, but still, you're still left to wonder if this is all what it is, where did he go? Now, I think he got, who knows, he could be even in a, um, maybe he's in one of them, um, you know, sex rings, sex boy toy thing, you know? All these sick individuals picking up people off the street. Because, you know, the kid, you know, looked like a baby-faced little... I mean, he was in college, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to insult nobody, but he looked like a, you know, like a... Thir uh, no, about, yeah, about 15, 16-year-old boy. And sometimes them rings, man, they like the young ones. Sick. It's like some men like young girls. And I mean, I'm not talking about of age, girl. I'm talking about young girls, sick, 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 sick. But it is a very interesting story here and all the thoughts and theories and ideas. And that's it is what's rolling through my head of what I say. And I think someone on along the way, whether it be him walking through here or someone picked him up, killed him, walked and drove him through there. Put the car out there and that's it. Whatever the case may be. But as you can see. That is just. You know. Parents out looking for their kid in one area. He says he's in another area. Now if there is. Copied looking places out there. You know. If there is places out there that look like something. And I have seen that. Don't get me wrong. I have seen that. There is a place. Sometimes when I drive out to, and no lie, I'm thinking I'm going to this other place, but it ain't. And it's like, oh, damn it, I did it again. 
but the similarities of it just it's like and you're sitting there swearing at you see son of a stupid idiot what are you doing this thing i'm thinking and i should know better because i've gone through this place oh man dozens of times it's one of them places i do would normally go through when i'm going through that area but because I'm thinking of the other place and it resembles it, I go that way and it's like, oh, God damn it. So then I end up going back around or loop around and I got to go all the way to where that other place is and it drives me friggin' nuts. Because that's what some, sometimes, yeah, my mind plays a little bit of tricks on me on some images in my brain. And that's another thing, man. Images in your brain and the photographic memory. And I don't think this kid did have one, because if he didn't, he wouldn't have sent his parents to the wrong location. But then again, there's that one more thought theory idea, and I'll end it here. Could. Maybe. Maybe. Could have the parents had something to do with this? Eh, you know, it's just a thought theory idea, but what would their motive be? Unless they took some type of insurance policy out on the kid. Who knows? But all I know, that car not being searched, fingerprint, because it was in a different location. Shame on the law enforcement for that. They're going to say he has a right to be missing. No, no child or young adult has no right to be missing. Just like my son, he got swooped up. The cops telling me he's all right. Oh, I did a wellness check. There's nothing wrong with your son. He don't want to come home. Yeah, that's right. And then I come out with my little unwinded, twisted story. And I did get more information on my story, boy. And I might be just going to the Supreme Court with this. So, But I think there should be a law. And I think I'm going to the legislator's office to see if they want to look into this law. Especially, you know, young adults. I don't care if they're, you know, doing what they have to do in life. Because you cannot, you cannot just feel all right with your son or daughter. And they're in college or they're like my son, you know, um, you know, uh -uh, here we go, freaking dogs. You know, and just feel all right because the police say they have a right to be missing. You know, they need to, like they're saying to you, they need to learn in life how to live without you. But you want to know what? No, because when there's demons, devils, and sick individual out there that sneak up behind you and take you without warning. All right. There's got to be more of a law that pushes towards that so these kids can get properly checked and not overlooked by law enforcement not oh, oh you had a right to be missing you know that's sick in my eyes that brings me back to my story and i don't like that man and like i said i'm gonna, I'm gonna see what i can do to go to legislators and see if they can make a law for me talking about young adults even though they're getting out there in the big world they still need guidance and today's Youth, I'm sorry. I'm not putting you down. I'm not busting your balls. But a lot of you, you loot youth, ain't got street smarts. You, a lot of you youths, or as the movie would say, youths. Yeah, you ain't got the you ain't got the street smarts like me. You haven't survived. And there was a thing I saw. That's right. I'm this old for a reason. Survival tips. I've been on my own since the age of five. Back in my day, you got left alone and to wonder what to do, what to eat, when to go to bed, how to get up for school for yourself. And if you don't, you get your butt warmed. And then you think, oh, man, that's sometimes I think and sometimes why I stayed up all night. And now that I think of it. Because my mother used to warm my ass when I didn't go to school. Why ain't you in school? Oh, I overslept. Uh, oh, why? Because you were up all night. You kept me up all night. You should be screaming at me. You are uh, uh, whack, 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 whack. Ah! Oh, that next morning, I was up. Uh, <laughs> run to school. I had to walk to school in air mass, and I was running. Oh, man, oh, my mother whooping my butt. Oh, so, yeah, man. 
lot of today's youths don't have a knowledge of street smarts. Some do, don't get me wrong, but a lot of you don't. Because if you're living throughout the world of the rich, you're reading through books, you're trained through no discrimination but money. You don't have to worry up there because you're all set. But when you're me down here in the gutter with the rats, the bad individuals, you gotta fight to survive down here. There's kill or be killed down here. You know, tooth for a tooth, eye for an eye. You have to fight to survive in this world down here. And that's where I come from, the streets. And to see kids like this, and to see kids like this being, um, you know, taken advantage of, of their unnecessary, you know, of their, um, not unnecessary, but of their, you know, looks or their nature. Their nature, that's what I wanted to say. Their nature, and they get taken advantage of. Well, there you go. That's what this world consists of. And the monsters out there ain't gonna stop and don't give a damn. Because where's this kid now or any other kid missing? Or even if they're found dead, what is it? Because the monsters are out there. Be safe, take care, always beware. I'm gonna try and do a little bit more on this, but I think I got what I needed out of this. And just by looking at all this, yeah, I want my answers of what I've said tonight. And I don't even know if I'll ever get them, but looking into it. I'll look into them, see what it says. Out.